Welcome back my friends, I've been interested in building a lizard tribal deck for quite a long time and thanks to Bloomborough, Gev Scaled Scorch is just the commander I've been looking for. We can cast Gev for a red and a black, we get a 3-2 lizard mercenary with ward, pay 2 life. Other creatures we control enter with an additional 1-1 counter on them for each opponent who lost life this turn, and whenever we cast a lizard spell, Gev deals 1 damage to target opponent, thus enabling the 1-1 counter ability. Now, as most of you know, on this channel we like building our decks on a budget, and this one is no different, bringing you Gev Scaled Scorch for under 20 bucks. Starting things off for our lizards, we have Viashino Sandstalker, Sand Scout, and Sand Sprinter. All of these will bounce themselves back to our hand at the end of our turn, so we can recast them and gain benefit from our commander's ability. Bloomborough brought us a host of new lizards like the Agate Blade Assassin, Ravine Raider, Flame Cash Gecko. Hearthborn Battler, the Steampath Charger, Valley Flamecaller, and Cindering Cutthroat. Now we also have the Mezio Mugger, Riveteer's Requisitioner, and Viachino Heretic. Now a lot of our lizards are also outlaws, so from the Outlaws of Thunder Junction we have Greywater's Fixer, Hellspur Posse Boss, and the Laughing Jasper Flint bringing us a ton of value. And since we have so many outlaws, let's find ways to support them, like back in town we can return X target outlaw creature cards from our graveyard to the battlefield. Discreet Retreat will help us add mana to cast our outlaws and activate their abilities, and whenever we cast our first outlaw spell each turn, we can draw a card and lose a life. With Dead Before Sunrise, until the end of the turn, our outlaw creatures get plus one plus zero, then we can tap them and they can deal damage equal to their power to target creature. With At Knife Point, as long as it's our turn, outlaws we control have first strike, and whenever we commit a crime, we get a 1-1 red mercenary creature token once per turn. And thanks to Vile Smasher Gleeful Grenadier, whenever an outlaw ETB is under our control, she can deal 1 damage to target opponent. Now while our commander can help deal damage to our opponents, let's burn the entire board at once with Dagger Caster, Vicious Rumors, Tectonic Hazard, Molten Gatekeeper, Rackish Crew, Deadeye Duelist, Ill-Gotten Inheritance, Witty Roastmaster, Impact Tremors, and the Spitfire Lagak. Now besides our Lizards and Outlaws, we are running a few cards that care about counters. The Mare Ek Nightblade will give each creature we control with a 1-1 counter on a Death Touch. Whenever the Mirror Style Master attacks, for each attacking modified creature we control, we create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of that creature, then we exile them at the end of combat. A personal favorite of mine is the Unforgiving One. Whenever it attacks, we can return target creature card with mana value X or less from our graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the number of modified creatures we control. And whenever the Thundering Raiju attacks, we can put a 1-1 counter on target creature we control, then it deals X damage to each opponent, where X is the number of modified creatures we control other than our Thundering Raiju. And a pretty fun one, the Tenured Ink Caster. Whenever ETBs, you can put a 1-1 counter on one of our creatures, and whenever a creature we control with a 1-1 counter on it attacks, each opponent loses one and we gain one. Now as the game goes on, it's likely some of our creatures will die, so we have a few ways to get them back, like Hazel's Nocturne, Raise the Draugr, Return from Extinction, Arch Priest of Shadows, and Death Denied. And with any deck, card draw is very important, so we have Costly Plunder, Unexpected Windfall, Read the Bones, Seize the Spoils, Demand Answers, Thrill of Possibility, Corrupted Conviction, and Highway Robbery. For our Mana Rocks, we are including Charcoal Diamond, Fire Diamond, Commander Sphere, Mind Stone, and the Arcane Signet. And we also have Bandit's Hall. Whenever we commit a crime, it gets a loot counter. This ability only triggers once each turn. It can tap to add us one mana of any color, or we can pay two and tap it to remove two loot counters and draw a card. And of course, we can't forget about our targeted removal, which I've found myself adding to a lot more decks lately. So we have Go for the Throat, Terminate, Agate Assault, Abrade, Feed the Swarm, Chaos Warp, Shoot the Sheriff, and Bedevil. 